is the algorithm needs to know who you are. If you're doing things like going all over the place with your niche, doing different videos every other day, YouTube is confused now. And now YouTube has no idea who your audience is. They have no idea who to show your videos to. They have no idea how to get your video to a million plus views. And so that leads to a lot of unsuccessful stories for people who start YouTube channels. This video made this amount of money and I believe that the RPM was about six, $16. You're looking at it right now. So it made me this amount of money for this amount of views. Now I want you to show the difference. Look at this video. This video is on my second channel and it's a reaction to a crazy, um, violent, almost semi-violent situation, right? Look at the difference in revenue. Look at the difference in how much I made. Look at the views. Look how similar the views are. Look at the view duration. All these things factor into how much you're going to be making. What's up everybody, it's your boy Mac Moolah, AKA Mr. Moolah Mac. Uh, I'm the CEO here at Moolah Membership. If you don't know who I am, I'm a pretty popular YouTuber. Uh, my main channel has about 450,000 subscribers. Uh, my second channel has about 150,000 subscribers and we just did 7 million views on that channel this month. I also have a vlog channel with uh, about 40,000, a gaming channel with over 100, um, and I have a lot more channels using YouTube automation that have hundreds of thousands of subscri subscribers as well. So that's a little bit of my background as far as YouTube goes. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the first video on this channel showing you how to get rich and successful from YouTube. YouTube is a great platform to make money on because unlike other social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, you get paid to play on YouTube, right? So you post a video, it gets views, advertisers um, are paying viewers to see their advertisements and you get paid from that, right? So it's the best social media app in my opinion. Uh, it's the best way that you can use something and be creative, create content and actually get compensated for it um, on a high level, right? I think TikTok, the last time thing I heard about TikTok, a guy got 10 million views and was paid $600. That same 10 million views on YouTube will look more like $100,000, right? So that's the difference. Um, YouTube is very important. It's the number one, uh, it's pretty much the new TV. Uh, YouTube is the new TV, it's the new movie, it's the new uh, comedy show, right? Everything is done on YouTube. And the, the beautiful thing about YouTube is you can make content off of literally, literally anything. I'm talking about basketball, skateboarding, fashion, watches, uh, cars, clothes, girls, cameras, um, um, reaction videos, story times, talk shows, pod, you can do anything on YouTube, okay? So today's video is going to be the first video that I do cover exactly what you need to be doing to become successful from YouTube. Now, I've been on YouTube for 12 years, so this is the, me the difference between me and most YouTubers. I've been on YouTube literally since 2010, really 13 years, okay? So 13 years I have. I've, been, I've had over 10 channels in these 13 years. I failed, I've succeeded, I've started, I've quit, I started again, I quit, I did different channels. So I'm gonna break this down better than pretty much any other YouTuber can. So make sure you guys do me a favor right now, smash that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. I'm posting four videos per week on this channel giving away free information. And if you want any more information regarding the things that I'm talking about in this video, specifically just the YouTube, understand that you can sign up for my membership right now on a monthly basis, or you can pre-order my YouTube master course right now. The link is also on my website, moolahmembership.com. Without further ado, let's get into this because I know y'all ready to learn, baby. Okay guys, so the first thing that you need to understand before you start a YouTube channel, before you do anything, is you have to understand how this all works. What I'm talking about is specifically, I'm talking about the algorithm, right? The YouTube algorithm. If you don't understand what an algorithm is, an algorithm is pretty much the systems and the coding behind how something works, right? So you're talking about YouTube, for example, TikTok, Twitter. We have all these social media platforms. They all have their own built-in algorithm, right? So whoever designed, whoever owns, whoever operates the app, whoever operates the company, they set rules pretty much behind their company. Uh, what videos get pushed, right? What can or cannot be said? What can be monetized and what cannot be monetized? What can you do or what you cannot do to improve your viewership, right? Um, how are viewers seeing your content? All these things is how it's worked into an algorithm. So if I wanted to create a company and I only wanted to promote, I only wanted to let 
the people who made cooking videos get rich, right? I would set into my algorithm, I would set into the brain of my company, right? The coding into my company. I would understand that this is going to get pushed. Cooking content is going to get pushed because that's how I want my algorithm to work, right? Every company has their own algorithm and you have to understand YouTube's in order to get successful, in order to make millions of dollars from YouTube, right? So I'm going to be breaking down the algorithm specifically in this video and then in the next few episodes we'll get a little bit more in depth before I'll eventually have to stop and, uh, you know, to get a little unfair to the people who's paying uh, for this information. So. Let's get into it. So the YouTube algorithm is, um, I would say, honestly, the easiest to understand across all social media platforms. The first thing and the main thing that you want to understand is the algorithm needs to know who you are, right? If the algorithm does not know who you are, it will be impossible to ever grow, ever to be a millionaire, ever to be successful on YouTube, right? The way you teach the algorithm, there's, there's, there's multiple ways to teach the algorithm who you are, who your audience is, why they watch what they watch, what videos do they like, right? But when you have a fresh starting brand new YouTube channel, YouTube has no data behind you, right? So in the next the next episode, you're going to see me walk through exactly how to set up your channel from scratch or if you already have it set up, how to change the setup behind it to um, be more algorithm friendly and make yourself being successful on the platform that much easier. In this video, I'm just going to be explaining, right? So you need to understand, you need YouTube to understand who you are, who your audience is, uh, their age group, every little piece of demographic, their age group, the type of videos they watch, right? And the reason that this is very important is because YouTube needs to understand who you are in order to promote your content to the right people right this is just how things work so you have to be mindful of this at all times no matter what you're posting when you're posting how you're posting how you need to know your audience and more importantly you need YouTube to know your audience because if you're a fresh channel and you want to make videos about cameras and laptops and electronics just for example and you want to make these videos and you want to you want to get rich from doing that right your first video if your first video is a camera review right and it gets five views and your second video is a laptop review and it gets seven views and your third video is a another camera review right what you're doing is you're telling YouTube the type of content you're going to be putting out the type of content that you are giving to their platform so that YouTube can in turn take your content promote it and show it in front of the right people so that you can get the right amount of clicks and eventually get money, right? Because on YouTube, we get paid from not the likes, not the comments, not the subscribers. You get paid from views. So you can have five subscribers. You can have 2,000 subscribers. If you get 5 million views a month, you'll get around forty to $50,000 for that month, right? If you have 5 million subscribers, but you get 100,000 views for a month, you'll get about eight to $800 to $1,000 for that month. Right, so that's the difference. So you want to make sure YouTube knows, and to, in order to do that, the first way in order to do that is to pick a niche. Right, it's very important to pick a niche. How do you pick a niche? Uh, well, what is a niche? A niche is pretty much just the category of videos that you're going to be doing. Right, so the type of content can be. I want to be clear on this. The type of content you make has to stay the same. Well, the type of content you make can be different, but the category in which it's prescribed to needs to be the same. So, for example, you can make uh, camera reviews, you can make camera unboxings, you can make camera how-tos, right? But what you can't do is make five videos about technology, cameras, laptops, and then the fifth video be about you cooking. And then the sixth video be about... Uh, you shopping at, for fashion and then the seventh video will be a vlog of you and your dog, right? You're conf what you're doing is you're confusing YouTube and since you're a brand new channel or since you're a channel that maybe hasn't blown up yet or if, even if you just want to take it to that next level, YouTube, like I said earlier, YouTube has to be extremely clear about who your audience is because there's so much content coming on YouTube every single day. If you're doing things like going all over the place with your niche, doing different videos every other day, YouTube is confused now. And now YouTube has no idea who your audience is. They have no idea who to show your videos to. They have no idea how to get your video to a million plus views. And so that leads to a lot of unsuccessful stories for people who start YouTube channels, right? And that usually ends to people quitting, things like that. So the first thing you need to do is pick your niche. 
Your niche could be gaming, it could be vlogs, it could be um, reactions, it could be pranks, right? But then even when it does get that, it needs to be even more specific than that, right? So if you're doing pranks, it could be a little bit more broad. But if you're doing reactions, but you're reacting to some gaming stuff on Monday, and then you're reacting to some fashion stuff on Tuesday, and then you're reacting to a shootout on Thursday, and then you're reacting to some jury on Friday, it's not really going together, right? So when you go to my main channel or even my second reaction channel, you're going to see that the consistency of the type of content that I'm reacting to is very, very similar, right? You're going to see uh, shootouts. You're going to see a lot of these crazy situations that I'm reacting to because I understand that that's what my audience wants. I can't give my audience a reaction to a helicopter ride or a reaction to LeBron James scoring 70 points or whatever it may be. They're not going to click on that. Right, and even if they love, no matter how much they love Magmula and they want to watch whatever he does, YouTube won't even show them that. Because if your audience is watching crazy videos, if your audience is, let's just say, shoot, uh, cook, cookout videos, right? If your audience is watching cooking videos, as soon as they turn on YouTube, it's going to be a plethora of cooking videos suggested to them, so that they can just go on, click. They don't have to look for content, right? You have to understand that YouTube is not TV. So you can watch anything, whenever, however, on any on any device. You don't have to watch Sweet Life from 7 to 7.30 on Disney Channel because that's all they're showing. And then you have to watch the next. You have, it's not the same thing. It's TV. I can start. I can stop it. I can go to another channel. I can go to another video. I can completely stop watching this type of video and start watching a completely different type of video. You know what I'm saying? So YouTube has to know what their audience wants to give it to them so that their audience stays on the platform, right? The quicker you understand that you have to think like the boss in order to be successful, you'll be successful, right? So knowing YouTube, YouTube makes money from you, right? So why would they not want you to be rich? Why would they not want you to get a million views a video? They do want you, but you have to make that easy on them. Because like I said, if, you're, if your audience does cooking videos, but you just did a skateboarding video, well, YouTube, would you show that to an audience who's just cooking, right? If you have a business and you sell, you, you have a, a bartender, a bar, let's say you have a bar on the, on the corner, you, you're not going to sell towels at the bar because people, you're not going to buy towels to put at your bar to sell because people aren't coming here for that. They're coming here to drink. So you got to buy drinks. You got to do things that... Uh, attract people who like to drink, right? You can't have a bar with a lot of, four t of 420 friendly things outside, no alcohol, nothing like nothing pertaining to anybody in the crowd of a bar. Think about it the same as just digitally on YouTube, right? So how do you help YouTube? Um, how do you help YouTube promote your content? I'll be, I'll, like I said, first thing you have to do is pick your niche and you have to be extremely specific with your niche. So can I do, for example, can I do reactions? Can I do other things than reactions? Yes, but they have to be specific to the type of content that I'm already producing. So I can go to the side and do story times, but those story times need to line up with the content I'm already putting out. And since I'm putting out shootouts, crazy, uh, re crazy situations, then I would have to tell stories about my personal crazy situations in order to appeal to my audience. So now that you've picked your niche, or now that you know you have to pick your niche, you might not have picked it yet, um, now you need to understand the differences that a niche will make. So a lot of people don't understand that your overall YouTube revenue is determined mostly off the type of video that you're producing. So if you're producing gaming content, if you're producing reaction content, if you're producing child-friendly content like toy reviews or something like that, all those different contents have what's called a different RPM, right? RPM is pretty much how much you're getting paid per thousand views. So that's how YouTube measures it, right? So if I'm doing gaming videos and I get 100,000 views on that video and my RPM might be a little bit lower for gaming, um, gaming RPMs are usually around seven, eight dollars for the most part, right? So if I'm doing seven, eight dollars on, on, on gaming, that means I would get eight dollars per thousand views. So if I got a hundred thousand views, I would get eight eight times a hundred, which is eight hundred dollars um, for that specific video. But for example, if I was to do videos like this, videos like this, financial type of videos, um, self help videos, things like that, usually see RPMs of ten all the way from ten to twenty dollars, 
right? So really more, more on the upside of 15. So let's say $16, right? $16 per thousand views for that same 100,000 views. I can have the same people watch it for the same amount of time um, on the same on, on different videos and get a completely different amount of money for that video. So that same 100,000 views, now I'm talking about $1,600, double the price just for doing the type of content that I'm doing, right? Now, I do not want that to influence you, influence you too much to change the type of content that you produce. The type of content you produce needs to be based off what you like to do, what you're available to do, and what you can do, right? So all those three things are different. What you like to do, what's available to you to do, and then what you can actually do, right? As far as like the end product of the content. So if you don't know anything about finances, don't get on YouTube talking about finances thinking that you're gonna make more money because it doesn't really work like that. But if you're a good gamer, don't stem away from gaming. Don't stem away from making that type of content because you're afraid of the, 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 the RPM being a little lower than other videos. That's just the truth behind YouTube, the truth behind anything. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot, a lot of my people come from the ghetto, so I'll break it down like this. Uh, different drugs are different prices. You get what I'm saying? People pay different, drug, different prices for different drugs, different any type of product, right? Whether it's a t-shirt, this Fendi shirt, I'll pay $1,000 for this Fendi shirt, but I will not pay $1,000 for a Hanes t-shirt, right? Because the audience is different. When you look at YouTube, you're talking about advertisements. That's how we get paid. So you need to be you need to be mindful of the type of videos you're producing and you need to also be mindful of the type of advertisements that you would get for producing that type of content so since i'm producing this financial content you're probably going to see ads during this video that is prevalent to the type of content i'm doing so a lot of times you might see uh oh a course being sold as an advertisement or um Maybe even a cryptocurrency application. Uh, they might sell. They might try to promote to you. Uh, they might try to promote to you books that can help you with finances. Anything that has to do with money, business, anything promoting a business, right? This type of content pays well because the advertisers are charged a higher premium to pay YouTube, right? So understand, get it through your head that it's not. It's not just magic. Right, you don't just get paid more because this type of content and this is how. No, you get paid based off the advertisers. If you're doing gaming videos, unfortunately, those advertisements aren't as expensive because number one, there's an influx of gaming content on YouTube. Right, there's no shortage of that at all. Right, number two, the gaming community, period, worldwide, the gaming market doesn't need to pay that high of a price to promote their game. Right, so it's not like the same thing as somebody would pay to promote their business or their course. Right, games are already popular. If you're doing Call of Duty content, Call of Duty doesn't need to pay you top dollar to promote the game that you're kind of already promoting for them. Right, or another type of game doesn't need to pay you top dollar to put their advertisements on your videos. Right, and it's the same way if you was to do TV. If I had a Disney Channel. Or if I had the Super Bowl, which one can I pay more? Can I can I charge more for advertisements? I can charge a lot more for the same type of ads, right? Or the same length of ads, the same video, whatever. I can charge a lot more on Super Bowl on my Super Bowl program than I can on my Disney Channel program, and that's due to a lot of major factors that we don't have to get into. But I'll I'll go over a few. We're talking about the audience, right? How old are these people? Most people. Um, who, who play games are children. Do children have money? No. So the, the price of an advertisement would be a little bit lower. As far as like something like the Super Bowl, where you got people watching from 16 all the way to 75, I know that I can charge high because it's, first of all, the audience is bigger, right? And the demographic is different. I'm talking to people who have Money. I'm talking to older people, you know what I'm saying? And now it's the same type of people who like business, finances. You're talking to people who have money. So now you're doing a direct advertisement to consumer um, presentation and somebody can literally click through an ad and click it right there. So what you have to really understand that. I know I was all over the place, but you have to really, really, really understand that, right? You have to really understand what the advertiser 
wants from you. You have to really understand why the advertiser is paying YouTube this much so that YouTube can turn around and pay you accordingly, right? So your niche is extremely important. That's why I made this specific video. It's so important, and I'll show you, I'll show you with, uh, with proof, right? So what you're looking at right now is a video that I did a few years ago on my main channel, right? And I was doing a video, this is before I really blew up and was doing the type of videos that I do now. But I went ahead and did an a, 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 a audience requested video and I pretty much broke down how I went from being broke living in my parents' house to making about two to $4,000 a month without a job and moving out, right? Which is a lot of things, something a lot of people want to do. But it's also a finance video, right? It's also the same type of video that you're watching now. Like I said, it has a very high premium when it comes to how much advertisers pay. This video made this amount of money, and I believe that the RPM was about six, $16. You're looking at it right now. So it made me this amount of money for this amount of views, right? Which is a great, great, great rate. Now I want you to show the difference. Look at this video. This video is on my second channel, and it's a reaction to a crazy, um, violent, almost semi-violent situation, right? Look at the difference in revenue. Look at the difference in how much I made. Look at the views. Look how similar the views are. Look at the view duration. All these things factor into how much you're going to be making. But the most important thing is picking the type of videos that you do make, right? Now, cheat code. I have 20-something channels. I would have 50 if I could, right? So I'm not saying that you have to lock yourself in to one category of videos. If you want to do skateboarding on Tuesday and you want to do fashion on Thursday, you can do that, just not on the same channel, right? Because you'll confuse YouTube. And remember, as I said, as I taught you earlier in the video, you want to make it as easy as possible for YouTube to know who your audience is, right? And I'm, before I get off of this video, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break down exactly how you can do that, right? Number one, stay consistent to your niche. Do not drift off from your niche, okay? If you do jewelry, do jewelry. If you don't want to do jewelry anymore, start another channel. I don't care how successful that channel is. I don't care what you have going on. I don't care. You're going to literally mess up your entire operation trying to do multiple niches on the same channel, okay? And I'm talking about specifically, right? If you look at the news channels, they're only going to post news. If you do haircuts, tutorials, don't start doing dentist vlogs on Friday because you felt like it. Make a vlog channel, right? Because that's an entirely different audience. YouTube is going to target your videos to an entirely different group of people. And you don't want to confuse them doing it on the same channel. And then you got, after a while, you'll have... You'll have basketball videos being promoted to people who like haircut tutorials. So yeah, some of those people might like basketball videos too, right? But most of them aren't. Most of them are only going to see haircut tutorials or whatever type of content that they look up. They're only going to see that. So if you start gathering an audience, I don't give a damn if it's 100 subscribers. If you have an audience of 100 subscribers and you get a consistent five views a video, if you change up the content on your video, I promise you, your content, your, the, the views, the, the, the algorithm will not reward you for that, right? So that's the first way. Stay consistent to your niche. The second way um, is uh, increase view duration, right? So your view duration is pretty much how long somebody watched your video. How long did you retain your audience to watch your video and keep them on YouTube? You'll be rewarded for that, right? YouTube will promote your, your video more to more people because they're looking at it like, okay, if somebody watched, if 60% if of the people who clicked on the video, 60% of that number, if they all watched 50% or 40% or more of the video, then now me as YouTube, I understand this is something valuable. Everybody that clicked on it liked it, right? They interacted with it. They watched it for more than two seconds. They watched a, a good chunk of it. I know that I can take the data from this person, figure, figure out who who... Figure out another person, another user on YouTube who has similar data, promote this video to that person, and then we'll just keep growing it, right? So that's the second way, view duration. And then the third way is video interaction, right? So like I said, smashing the thumbs up button, 
commenting, did they subscribe from this video, right? So these are all different ways to let your um, to let your uh, let YouTube understand your algorithm and understand your audience what they like, what they don't like, right? The fourth way is to completely, and I mean completely, 100% devote yourself, your channel, in any kind of way to the type of videos that you're posting. I mean tags, descriptions, titles, your channel tags, your thumbnails, everything needs to fit the type of niche that you're making. To the, it's what I call you're telling YouTube who to promote your channel to, right? So if you're doing uh, music, music uh, reviews, right, music, album reviews for Travis Scott or just for rap album reviews anything like that in your tags it needs to say rap album reviews somewhere in your descriptions it needs to say rap album reviews right and your channel tags a lot of people don't know you have channel tags when you go to YouTube you go to settings you scroll down you go to uh, channel tags it's something that it's something that me as a viewer I can't see what your channel tags are but YouTube knows right and what you're doing is you're telling the brain of YouTube who to promote your channel to based off of okay I'm doing music out hip-hop rap album reviews right so that's in my channel tag that's in my description that's in my video tags that's somewhere in my title right um, so this is pretty much telling YouTube the type of content you make basically like putting in your own code uh, you're, you're telling YouTube the type of content you make um, and that's helping YouTube promote your video right so in this video like I said I'm literally only thing I wanted to do was tell you how YouTube works because that's the first thing you have to understand before you make a channel if you already made a channel then it's okay it's, 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 it's whatever you can keep moving forward but for most people I know who you haven't really started putting videos out yet the first thing you want to know is how YouTube works so that you can attack it in the right way the next the literally the next video I'm gonna post after this well not the next video the next video in this series I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to set your channel up for success right I'm talking about all the ins and outs of your channels how to upload how to make the titles everything all the ins and outs of your overline the base channel I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to set that up for success okay YouTube again I promise you guys YouTube is a great way to make revenue and there is something out there that everyone can produce that someone will watch I don't care what it is whether you're passionate about haircuts whether you have, you're passionate about women, you could be passionate about fashion, you could be passionate about basketball, you could be passionate about skateboarding, you could be passionate about just uh, video logging, vlogging your daily life. You can be passionate about anything, but I promise whatever type of content you do produce, there's a large audience in the world who will watch it and YouTube will pay you top dollar for that content, okay? So it's a way to make, mil I've made millions of dollars on YouTube if I can do it, so can you. I have 13 plus years of experience and I can break down YouTube better than anybody else on YouTube, right? Any of these popular YouTubers you see, yeah, they might have more followers than me, but to be honest, no shade, most of those people, it happened by accident. You're looking at somebody who has went through the fire. You're looking at somebody who started a channel at 10, 12 years old, 11 years, 13, 14, 15. I had a channel literally my entire life from different categories, right? And that's why I can tell you how things work, right? So again, if you guys want more information, if you really want to learn how to get rich from YouTube, I am producing a, uh, I am coming out with a YouTube master class. It's gonna be a little bit, tiny bit on the expensive side. It's not gonna be cheap for you to learn how to make millions of dollars on YouTube, right? It's not gonna cost $5 for you to learn how to make millions on YouTube because I'm in this course, I'm literally giving away everything that I've learned in 13 years of being on YouTube, right? If you guys are interested in that, you can pre-order the, uh, the the course right now. The link is in the description, moolahmembership.com. Go to the website, go to the courses section, and you'll see a pre-order for the YouTube Master Course. If you do want to learn, it should be out in about a few weeks, about maybe a month at the most. I'm still perfecting it. Um, but if you want to pre-order it right now, you will get it for a cheaper price. If you guys want to sign up for anything that I have going on as far as the membership, Go to that link as well. Uh, go to my membership portal and uh, we'll go to my membership section and sign up so you can get access to the membership portal where I do videos like this all the time. Uh, stocks, crypto, business, YouTube, social media, mark, monetization, uh, drop shipping, literally every way to be an a successful entrepreneur in 2023 in the new age, in the new era. I'm teaching you step by step. 
Not only am I giving you video guides on a weekly basis in all these categories, but I'm also giving you one-on-one -on -one help via my group chat, and I'm giving you access to my stock and crypto traders, um, my inside traders. I'm giving you access to my inside analysis. Uh, I'm inside analyst for stocks and crypto, who will give you the stock, who give you the call outs that I get every single day, so that you buy the stocks and cryptos that I buy every single day, and you make the same amount of profit that I make. Right. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like it, make sure you like, the hit the thumbs up, uh, thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next videos. Peace.